faux leather, that textured plastic that gives it the real Note feel that we've come to expect since the Note 3. But obviously the change comes with that curve on the side and it's basically an area that you will be able to perform a lot of different tasks. As you can see right here, it is obviously a place that I had some shortcuts on, but once you swipe from the very edge of the screen or from the very edge of the actual curve itself, you'll be able to snip through a number of different panels that will give you some information. Now we have seen quite a few different ones already, the main application being the shortcut area where you'll be able to launch different applications easily and even have the camera controls there when you have the camera opened up but as you scroll through all of the different panels you'll see that you'll have a lot of information available it's almost like a ticker of sorts that will be there at all times if you so choose for it to be so so you can get the news while you're watching the video on YouTube or you'll be able to see your tweets uh, and all of the trending topics coming up on that little panel using the Twitter panel there are a lot of developers already hard at work to create uh, even more experiences with that panel and we're sure that the list will really expand through time and give you even more functionality on this edge. And here's another function where you're able to actually have the controls in that little curve up there so that when you have it available, activated, it won't take up any of the real estate on the screen, allowing you to really take uh, advantage of the video itself and not interrupt your viewing experience. And you can see here that the touch sensitivity on there is still about what you would expect. And also there's this functionality right here where you can have a clock mode, a night mode, in which you just rub the curve while it is in standby and you'll still be able to access all the different panels in just that one little area even when the entire rest of the screen is off. This is obviously something that we would expect to see people have on their nightstands, make it easy for you to have a little bit of a clock uh, using your phone and by using that curve on the side. Uh, you also have tools underneath for various different functions, but ultimately it's a nice little innovation on top of what is already a very established note line and is a different take on the kind of information you can have when using now a curved display, which Samsung is a bit of a pioneer on at this point. Uh, we don't know exactly what markets the Note Edge will be going to, but we've basically been told that it's going to be like a limited edition of the Note 4 itself. And it does certainly feel like it as it has the same type of build quality, but this time this curve really adds to the experience even if it is pretty quirky on its own.